BBX to build your own, so you know. I don't really like robot and rollers because all I'm gonna do is sell electronics. But uh, it's a nice truck. Definitely a nice truck. Uh, step electronics. Let's look inside real quick. Alright. I'm put them some. Ooh, I got some nice wheels. I'm gonna put them here. Uh, it's the inside. Check it out. We already like the braces. Why didn't put them braces inside the limitless already, or the? Uh, it already has this. Yeah, it has this from like the limitless, but the the braces. These braces is a bad eye. Look at that. Yeah. This is a, like a monster truck. It is a monster truck. Mm. Look at the braces on this thing. Then what is this mm. for? Uh, it's like it looks like a roll bar. I think it's for the. So we gotta take the roll bar off just to get to the div. Yeah, that's tight. Whoa, little stock div. I found the bumper. Stock div inside the there. The bumper looks super cool. Yeah, I do. The bumper. I like uh -oh. them braces, and I wish like the limitless and a fraction. A felony came with them. That was tight. Yeah, we can belt drive this. Yeah, we're gonna build it. I got the motor. I just gotta order ESC. ESC. And that's it. You could have used the ESC from the Monster Energy truck. Yeah, yeah we could have. But I got rid of it. Why? Alright, guys. When I come back, I think I'm gonna have the pulley in there or I'm gonna show. I think I might finish this up when I get to work. But this is just a little unboxing right here. And then, um, yeah, the this guy. Super cool. Let's see on the video. So yeah, we're gonna throw the bell drive on there, put the motor on, Wait. and I'm um, still waiting on the ESC, and that's it. So, we out, Patent Hobbies. Make sure you guys comment, subscribe, um, go to my website, patenthobbies.bigcartel.com, and get you bigcartel.com. Again, it's Patent Hobbies, bigcartel.com. And then, um, you guys get back once again, once again, man. What's up with y'all? Thank you for watching. This is Pat and the Hobbies. Make sure y'all comment, subscribe. I got the Creighton right here. We're going belt drive. I already unlowered it. Actually, looks pretty good. Look lower. You know I'm back at work. Actually, look good. I think I'm gonna put them um sweep sweep racing wheels on here. Might go with the red ones. Might change the body up. But look, let's get underneath this hood. Already pre testing it out. I thought I'd shoot a video. Right now I got the 45 on there with a 200 millimeter belt. And it comes with, this truck comes with this. So I took that out. Took that out. Oh, I got some shims on now. Took that out. Dropped this 45 in there with this two millim um, 200 millimeter belt. And it's rolling smooth. It was easy, man. Just, oh, what I meant to say was I have the shaft from the, the Limitless in here. I've been using that. I've been switching it back and forth from the Limitless to the, what the card? The Felony. Works in the Felony. Works in the Limitless. The cups are not right. That's the only thing. The cups came from my boy GTB when I had to um, the spool from them. So I'm about to change the cups out. That's the only thing I'm about to do. Because they're kind of rubbing. But even when not being locked down. So I'm going to put this top on here. And then, um, oh, wait a minute. i got to show you one more thing for switch. 40, 50 can, 2100. I got the five millimeter on there right now. I do not like five millimeter pulleys. I feel like that's gonna break. But um, I'm gonna try it out. 
You know, some people have luck. Sometimes we have luck with them and they work out. I was running a five millimeter on my, uh, on my, what car was that? On my Limitless with the, um, the kill mode. And I broke that shaft twice. And, you know, I went to eight millimeter. I thought I did it twice, but I have this motor with the five millimeter shaft. So, I mean, it should work out. I got the pulley on there. I had to reshim it. You can look in the back. I went in there and reshimmed it. I need to take it apart and clean it, but I am going to put a um, eight millimeter shaft on here because it's a truck and I feel like I'm going to be jumping it and everything just to test it out because a lot of people that bash, you know, got trucks like this, they want to know if it'll work. So it will work. And I think it's enough room to go 48. I'm going to have to measure it and see. 45, 25. Um, I'm gonna drop it down. I only had the 25. I could put the 18 on there, but I don't like the way the 18 look. But, um, I mean, damn. Now, for this truck having a lock spool in it, you know what I'm saying, bell drive, I'm low key kind of worried if it's gonna mess up the diffs, you know, the rear diff or the front diff. I seen a video where a dude, he blew out his diff because he had put a lock diff in his truck. I don't know if that'll work. If y'all can comment, um, down below and let me know if you ever ran into any problems doing that. Um, having a lock diff in like a Creighton, you know, bashing it and jumping it. Um, this is my first time, so I'm really just doing it for the people that, you know what I'm saying, our trucks has been hitting me up. And I have low-key been wanting the Creighton. That little stimulus check came. Oh, shit, limp a little. I should have invested in the truck for a company. I bought a gang of pulleys, you know, my pulley order should be here uh, Friday of next week. So I ordered them. Well, I got my I got my stimulus uh, Thursday. <laughs> it was spent that night, so I bought a gang of pulleys. My pulleys will be here Friday. Bought a gang of belts, you know. So I am gonna be testing it out. Y'all be on the lookout for this. This is just gonna be part one. Um, I'll be right back. Let me get this all set up because I can't do it with one hand. I'm gonna screw the top in. And I'm gonna put the motor in, screw that up, and tighten up the belt. Oh, and I did have to remove the battery, uh, not the battery, but the um, the ECE, the e ESC plate. Because when I was test fitting it earlier, that little piece was hitting. See, so might not, I might have to cut that off, but I see that it holds the wires. I might put it back in. I don't even think I'm gonna put the ESC right there. Be honest with you. I think I'm gonna move a lot of this, like, I move it in. I don't know. I might put the ESC up here and have the ESC right on top. But like I said, this is part one, so give me one second. So as you can see, I got the top plate down, all the way down. Everything is rolling. Shoot. But like I said, the cups is wrong. We really ain't got no plate back here. Play right here. Got a little bit of play right here. But it seems like it's rolling smooth. Uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, hold on. The bug see the thing. Looks pretty good. This belt. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. I don't like the spacing, so I already know I'm gonna go down. That's a 25-45 with a 200 millimeter belt. Go down like 180, get a little more torque. Right now, that's just for speed. Um, I don't like it. I might go down on the pinion to a 20 when I put that 8 millimeter shaft on it. But look at that. Look at that. Nice and smooth. It's ready to go. You really don't want that. So that's why I'll be sitting here working with it. You know, I make sure when y'all get y'all belts, y'all don't have to go through that. You know, I use it as a tensioner, but at the same sense, you can't have this motor move, moving like that. It's not really moving, but you don't want that. So that's what I said, I'm gonna figure out what's the best to use, you know, what size pulley so we can get this inside here more so it won't be moving. And um, y'all notice like from my first videos, I had a, like a tie wrap right here. So the 
motor would move. So if you guys noticed that on my first videos, that was me not knowing what I was doing and I had to go work it out. So back to that same thing, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get the belt size right with the right size pulley to get the maximum torque and speed. Let me finish putting this thing back together. 45 in there, 45 with a 25, all put back together. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got the limitless spool with some different cups on there. So from a whole board, but limitless spool, 25 pulley uh, for the pinion. Um, that's five millimeters, which I'm not gonna use. I'm gonna change the shaft out. Other than that, this is part one of it, of the build. There you go. Everything is, let me move out the way. Not binding up, rolling just far. There you go. Bell drive the crate, and you know, I'm gonna have to hook it up, man. Do my own little design, change the wheels, all that. Servo, servo. Yeah, just waiting on the ESC. I think Mamba X is gonna go in there. I think that's enough room for a Mamba X. If not, I might stretch it. Might have to stretch this thing. I need a max five. Put the lid back on. Lid back on. Might have to stretch that thing. Lower it. TP sticking out a little bit, but I'm gone, man. Appreciate y'all watching. Comment, subscribe, like. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if the um, uh, the lock spool will work. I was looking up on YouTube and they were saying that it might break the rear diffs. I don't know. Let me know. Comment, subscribe. Y'all see this thing rolling. This part one and part two. Should have it running. All right, I'm out.